Keyboard Special Keys Class 2 By the end of this lesson, you will understand Special Keys and Punctuation Keys and Key Combinations on a Keyboard Each key on a keyboard has a different function. You press the keys on the keyboard to type. As you type, the text shows on the computer screen. The different types of keys on the keyboard are Alphabet keys Number keys Function keys Special keys Arrow keys Punctuation keys And, combination keys Let us learn about each of them Alphabet keys the keys with eight letters written on them are called alphabet keys. These are used to type letters and words. There are 26 English letter keys on the keyboard, from A to Z. Number keys. The keys with numbers written on them are called number keys. These keys are also called numeric keys. They are used for typing numbers. The number of keys range from 0 to 9. There are two sets of number keys. One set is on the top. And other set is on the right side of the keyboard. Special keys. The special keys are keys with special functions. The special keys are Enter keys Spacebar keys Caps lock key Backspace key Delete key Escape key Tab key And num lock key Enter key A cursor is a small blinking line on the monitor. It shows where a letter or number can be typed. The Enter key moves the cursor to the start of the new line. It is used to start a new line or paragraph. There are two Enter keys on the keyboard. The Enter keys can be of two shapes. A spacebar key is used to give space between two words, letters, or numbers. It is the longest key on the keyboard. You can type capital letters by pressing the caps lock key. When the caps lock key is pressed on, you see a light on the upper right hand side of the background. If you press it again, the light will be turned off. The backspace key has backspace written on it. It erases anything typed to the left of the cursor. Delete key. The delete key erases anything typed on the right of the cursor. The delete and backspace keys help you correct your typing mistakes. The escape key is used to exit or escape from a program. The tab key is pressed to move some spaces forward. It moves the cursor to the next tab stop. It is used at the beginning of a new paragraph or to create equal spacing between lines. You have learned about the numeric keys. There are two sets of number keys on the keyboard. You need to switch on the numlock key to use the numeric keys on the right side of the keyboard. The glowing light shows that the numlock key is switched on. Arrow keys. While you type on the computer, you see a small blinking line on the monitor, which is called cursor. It shows the position where a letter, a number, or a symbol can be typed. The arrow keys are used to move the cursor left, right, up, or down. You may use the arrow keys to play games on a computer. The arrow keys are also known as cursor control keys. There are 12 function keys. These keys are placed on top of the keyboard. Each function key performs a specific function. 
the keys marked with punctuation marks such as comma, full stop, exclamation, and question mark, are known as punctuation keys. Now let us learn key combinations on a keyboard. First is, shift keys. The shift key is used with other keys for different purposes. For example, if you press and hold the shift key with capital G, caps lock is off. And if you press and hold the shift key with small g, caps lock is on. The Alt key is used to change the function of other pressed keys. For example, Alt plus F4 closes the current open window. The Control key is used with other keys. It performs a special function. For example, Control plus Alt plus Delete will lock your screen. Let us recap. Some of the important keys available on the keyboard are Shift key, delete key, enter keys, space bar key, caps lock key, backspace key, function keys, alt key, control key, escape key, tab key, num lock key, arrow keys, and punctuation keys.